Hi, my name is Julie McDougall, and if you are watching this, I am your child's eighth grade science teacher. And just jump right into it. The things that we'll be studying this year are populations, ecosystems, heredity slash genetics, and adaptation for the pretty much first half of the year. And we do a small unit or integrate this small unit into our last half of the year where we study planetary science or astronomy and space exploration, all high interest. And I hope for, I mean, for me for sure, but hopefully for your students as well. Um, I give homework infrequently, mostly on things students don't finish in class. So if we started a reading and some questions that had to do with that reading, sometimes if students don't finish, they might have that as homework but I try not to give homework as much as possible. And any um, materials that your kids need to finish work at home or if they're absent to do, they should find on Schoology. Uh, my Schoology, how it's set up is by topic. I do have a Bitmoji classroom with some links on it, but if you look here, the folders are by topic and the topic we're currently learning is always um, at the top. And this upcoming over here is also really helpful if you're trying to direct your child to what things are coming up that are due. Another great resource is this grade section. If you click on that, it'll show all the assignments that have been assigned when they're due and um, live links into those assignments and scores and comments as well. Uh, when you open the folders in Schoology, for instance, right now we're studying populations and ecosystems. They're organized by unit. There are three units in this topic. And right now we're in unit one, which is interactions and ecosystems. And inside that folder, everything's organized by week with the dates given. So currently right now it is week two. And when you open up a week in there, you'll see all the materials needed to do any of the work we did that week. The biggest resource that you want to direct stu your students to if they are absent or want to know what they missed are these teaching slides. We organize the teaching slides or I organize the teaching slides by date. So when kids enter, they have a starter or a do now that's dated and kids can make those up if they're absent. And then any of the slides that come after that date will be what we went over in class that day. These are all dated as well as when they were assigned. Um, I do standard based grade. So to let you know how that works, um, the focus is really more on the learning, not on the effort or practice to learn that information. So when you're looking at scores, the best thing to look at is the numerical score out of four that students received on items, not the letter grade or percentage. I did um, send home this, um, a bigger breakdown of my syllabus and this is included in it. So if you wanna to refer to that, you can. Um, this is what it means if your student has each letter grade in my class. If your student has an A, that means they're meeting all the eighth grade standards and possibly exceeding some. Anything above a three will get them that score of an A. Um, if they have a B, that is also great. They are meeting all the standards that are required in eighth grade. The scores you want to um, pay more attention to is if they have a C or below. A C for me means that students have completed most of the work, but maybe have some areas that they didn't show me they quite learned to eighth grade level, and they can always make up assignments and retake tests to show that. A D would mean they're probably getting about half the material, but half the material maybe is um, not being met. And then it's pretty hard to get an NC, but that is where you pretty much are not showing me any evidence of your learning of what we've done in class. Uh, daily assignments in the score on Skyward are not included. I consider the daily work that we do to be practice for you to show me your learning in the performance grade. So I count the performance grade, which are usually tests, but sometimes projects. Um, that's where you're showing me your learning. And when you see the grade in Skyward, that is from those performance um, tasks. And this, if you're looking in Skyward, would be how your student has scored on those performance grades. But if you click on that, it will break down the daily work and also give those grades. These grades on daily assignments are very predictive of how a student will score on the tests. So if you're seeing missing assignments or scores that are less than three in this list, then it would be um, a really good indication that your student needs to finish, correct, make additions to, and make up stuff to prepare for the test that's coming up. I don't count off for late work um, as long as it's before um, the assessment. 
When students are in Schoology, if they click on that grades button, they do see a breakdown of everything we've done so far and I've graded. And these are live links, so students can click on these links right to the assignment. And this is where they look for scores and any comments they received and feedback on those assignments. Um, if you need to get a hold of me, uh, please contact me through my email. Um, I love to hear your questions or if you have concerns or definitely celebrations. I do have a different email. It's jmcdug, it's not my full last name, at osd.wednet.edu. Um, so please contact me if you have questions and um, thanks for letting me teach your students. Mm -hmm.